Hey veterans, Travis Studdard, Veterans Disability Attorney. Today I want to talk to you about PTSD claims and uh, in particular why it's so hard to, to receive 100% scheduler uh, evaluation for PTSD. Um, and short answer, it's not very legal, uh, legal-like type answer is it's so darn hard, okay? And by that I mean the criteria that's required uh, that you must meet to receive a 100% rating, it's, it's, it's pretty demanding uh, under VA regulations. And uh, you know, you may have seen another video I did on 70%, and again, I do see veterans receiving at 70% level um, with some, some regularity, but 100% is, is usually reserved only for the most severe of situations. So at 70%, and I've got my little cheat sheet here, occupational and social impairment with deficiencies in most areas such as work, school, fam family relations, judgment, thinking, or mood, okay? And then it goes on and, and has some other criteria as well. Now compare that to uh, the 100%, and again, 70 was in most areas. At the 100% level, it's total occupational and social impairment due to such symptoms as gross impairment in thought processes or communication, persistent delusions or persistent hallucinations, uh, grossly inappropriate behavior, uh, persistent danger, danger of hurting oneself or others, uh, the inability off and on to, uh, to provide for one's daily uh, activities, uh, such as maintenance, uh, minimal maintenance of personal hygiene, uh, disorientation to time and place, memory loss, uh, including the names of close relatives, and uh, memory loss for your own occupation or even your own name. Now again, if you can't remember your own name, then of course, uh, 100% is probably an appropriate rating at that point in time. However, again, most veterans don't fall in that category. And again, you don't have to meet every single one of these criteria, but, but my point here is that's an awfully high bar to clear. And uh, it's gonna be extremely hard to get that. However, I see a lot of veterans trying to do it. I see a lot of veterans who are still working who want to receive 100% scheduler PTSD rating. Now, I just told you that based on VA's own regulations, it, it includes total occupational, which again means work, impairment. Now, if you're totally impaired from your work, yet you're still employed full time, chances are you're not gonna receive 100% PTSD from VA. And chances are an attorney is not going to sign on to prove that even though you're still working. Because again, your, your daily work uh, proves just the contrary. So again, don't get so hung up on reaching 100% scheduler for PTSD. If you're already at that 70% mark, look at other ways to, re to achieve the same result that may be other new disabilities uh, that need to be service connected. It may be increased ratings on those other disabilities, or it may be that uh, you're not working yet you still don't meet 100%. And again, uh, that's where you get into TDIU benefits. And um, I have another video on that as well, uh, why a 70% PTSD rating can get you to 100%. That's a much uh, easier path, and I don't mean to make it, uh, I don't mean to downplay the, the difficulty there, but it's, it's probably a better avenue to look at than 100% uh, scheduler, unless you do fall into the most severe of uh, situations. So again, keep that in mind if you're trying to get to 100% on PTSD. Uh, I've got other videos on PTSD. I've got articles on my website, winyourvetclaim.com, and I have other videos and articles as well on um, uh, here and on the website regarding TDIU benefits. So check those out. Thank you for your time. If you need help, do an online consultation request with us on our website. and. Uh, Again, thank you for your service and hope you'll check us out in upcoming videos. Have a great day.